Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at conservative plate boundaries. And uh, conservative plate boundaries are a little bit harder to draw than the other types because there's no clear easy movement other than making it 3D and uh, let's face it, in an examination conditions you're not likely to be able to draw a 3D diagram in the time that you have available. So in a conservative plate boundary what you have is you have these two plates that meet uh, in the middle and you have a transform plate movement that's occurring. Pay specific uh, attention to the part in the middle that's a little bit jagged and that's going to be the important part in this diagram. It's important to note that in the conservative plates you do not get volcanoes and the reason why you do not get volcanoes is because um, the plate thickness is not uh, any smaller, it's normal, and there's no gap because they're just moving side by side as a transform movement. See that area that I talked about before, um, the area that I've now surrounded in green? That is the area of friction. And for any earthquake to occur, what you need to happen first is that the energy of this transform movement needs to exceed the friction that is built up in that area. And when it exceeds the friction, is built up in that area, these plates suddenly slip, they suddenly move. And that's when an earthquake occurs. So the area of friction is typically the area where you're going to have the focus of the earthquake, where uh, the earthquake is actually going to happen, and uh, as per normal, the area above it is what we call the epicenter. So where the focus occurs, that's where you have the uh, seismic waves um, move away from, and they go off in all different directions. And as you move away from the focus or the epicenter, the, the magnitude of the seismic waves decreases with distance. So again, on a conservative plate boundary, you have this um, area of friction. Uh, when the movement of the plate uh, exceeds the friction, um, you get an earthquake, or you get this type of movement. Thank you very much for watching, and have a really great day.